faster, right? Okay. So remember, we're working on your neurology. Okay. So the up heels are training your physiology, the down heels are training your neurology. So okay. you know what? Just gonna roll into it and deal. Roll into it. Okay. And effort wise, the uphills should be feel harder than the downhills, or they should feel about the same. Uh, okay. It depends where you're looking, right? Downhills will feel stompy. Yep. And fast. And uphills will feel quite vascular and hard. Yeah. Okay. All right. Wednesday yeah. workout. Yep. On the way up. Once you get to. 310, then you need to be conscious of bringing it down. Yeah. Okay? Yep. Because you've got average 317 for 35 minutes. Yeah. So, you know, if you get around 310, I'm happy with it. Okay. Because remember, the numbers will change all the time. That's, yeah, yeah. That's the trick. Yeah. Okay? And so, Evan's numbers were lower, or you haven't heard from him yet? They, his were like 309. Oh, so, 309, so it's only 8 watts difference, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right, and I don't even particularly want you worrying where you start, but yep. just jog. If you get to the tree, then you, you, you just pull it up and you go. And you whistle? Yep. Back when the mode, yeah, it's it. All right, we're good. Right back when. Thank you. 
those games in your head with how much distance did you achieve, but it's not that important, right? right? Remember that conversation is always the same, right? In workouts, if you go out too hard and blow, and you don't get emotionally bruised, you're good. Thank you. 
It goes to doing work. Not worrying about holding on to any kind of performance parameter. Just working. So you instructed Gwen to drop in a couple of faster ones in the middle of the workout, was that yes, right? Yeah, yes. number four and five. Yep, yep, uh, sort of turn. Sort of 75 to 90% in the workout, you just narrow the focus a little bit. Yeah. And you just don't want them killing themselves in the last bit because they're going to do that race day anyway, mm -hmm. right? 
tried to quit, yeah. but you've got too far to go to smell the barn. Mm -hmm. And so you go into no man's land and your, your intentional focus becomes past-based and future-based. Right. How tired am I? What do I still have to do? And then you lose focus in the moment. Yeah, sure. So you just give them a little bit of something to bite onto and that's part of the workout. Mm -hmm. Remember the cues you've got left are posture cues. Just use those. Getting your feet down, getting the elbows back, dropping your chin, leaning into the fly. Just mile 11 now. Mile 11 in the half hour now. Just staying smooth. Nobody's getting frisky here. Some people are trying to hold on. And all you're doing is staying smooth. Bring the feet, yes, hold that posture for the duration now. Hold it, stay down. Stay down. 15, 15, go, 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 go. Nice. Just hold posture, that's all you have to do. Yep. Very good. Very good. So what I was talking about on the way down is you're holding the form. Yeah. You're not. And I suddenly see him drop his arms, which is a trick that we use called rearrange, start yeah. again. And then I saw this giant smile on his face. <laughs> and he had it. And he ran 248. Wow. Thousand miles. Uh you know, 1500 meter run he ran 233. Yeah, so two minutes to go. Nice and smooth. Stop that. Down pull, 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 pull. There you go, there you go. <laughs> Should you fill your camera up? So that's, have you done that workout before? Gwen? Never done that workout before. Uh, how, do you, how do you like it? It was okay. It's yeah. a bit long. Yeah. Um, I felt like I got slower. As it, the first couple reps felt easy and then it got really hard really fast. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the we, downhills. Bobby told me to start relaxed and it felt relaxed. But I think it was a little too fast at the beginning. Yeah, sure. Yeah. How much do you think we're climbing on the uphill in feet or meters? I... You know, it's a good question. I have to go look. I've been using this hill so long, but I've never measured it. Yeah. But it's uh, it's getting, you know, it's 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 better than four and a half, mm -hmm. but it's not seven. Yeah. You no. know, so it's somewhere in there, you know. Okay. Five, sure. maybe four and a half, five. It doesn't, and it, and it doesn't feel brutal, but it's no. but it definitely makes it work. Yeah, and the hardest part is the slipperiest part. Yes. You know, yes. so you know, with those shoes, uh, yep. they the don't have ones. a lot of traction. Mm -hmm. yep. So you've got a lot of loss of friction okay. you know yeah which is a good thing if it's consistent but it's not a good thing if it's inconsistent you know, so. yeah. i felt like today was definitely uh work the system not like a gain confidence sort of day but yeah. just like a build, build some fitness uh yeah work on the way up and try yeah. to hold form yeah, yeah. cool it's a good day yeah so it, it works up to the concept at altitude where at altitude you really have to pay attention to neuromuscular conditioning. Mm -hmm. So it's a classic condition. You see athletes train at altitude for cross country, they go down to sea level for the cross country nationals, and it's thick and muddy and snowy, they do really well. Mm -hmm. But if it's fast underfoot and it's fast going and it's flat, they get their butts handed to them. So that's the whole concept at altitude. You have to find a way to run fast. Mm -hmm. So go downhill. So, yeah, so either downhill or using supplemental oxygen. Cool. Cool. Yeah. Good day. Good day.